let's go. What's up, guys? Roman King here with another episode of Tokyo Xanadu. Last episode, we um we found out that Mr. Goro might be the mastermind. So now me, Shion, and Sh well, Rion and Shio are going on the case. Since I can't grind because grinding in this game is a pain in the ass. Mr. Goro lives in the apartments across from that one karaoke place. Rion, you've seen him around here too, right? Yeah, he mentioned that he lived in the area when he lectured me about being out so late. After chewing me out, he wished me good luck and he, uh, he's a lot cooler than most teachers. Let's move. Make sure you prepare for anything. Alright, let's actually check inside here real quick. Not in this playthrough. Not in this playthrough, we're not. <laughs> huh. Wait, I thought you could... Oh, you can't buy stuff from him. Like, I don't have anything good to sell him. Oh, right, right, right. You gotta actually read the books. Yeah, bear in mind, I haven't played this game in, like, forever. So, getting used to this again. Man. Oh, right, right, right. The old man. Should probably check that out real quick. Exchange all these. I have a lot of Twilight Stones, so I can burn these whenever. Like, I got a lot of Twilight Crystals and uh, Twilight Stones to the point where I kind of need to get rid of them. Find the ring, Star Truffle. <laughs> oh, right, he's got Illuminati. God dang it. All right, old man. Let's see if there's anything at the arcade, though. Besides Cold Steel shit. Can I play this? Uh, no. Gotta love Shio's theme. Why can't I play that? I can play everything else here, but I can't play that. Or this.
Okay, now I got it. You don't get anything from doing that. I just wanted to do it. Like you really don't get anything good from that. You just I just wanted to do it cuz I was lazy. Save real quick. This is where Mr. Goro lives. What do you want to do? Visit him right now? Door's locked. Excuse me, is anyone home? No one's home. It's not here. What should we do? Ragi could open up the lock, no problems. Asuka can do that? She can do pretty much anything. While we're while we've been breaking and entering, it's an emergency. Let's give her a call. Yeah, oh, this dude. You're from the Takahane group. Godo. Uh, what are you doing here? ホークトの会長さんからちょっとした要請があってな。でかい貸しが作れそうだから親父も張り切っちまってるんだ。それに最近ってのが例の坊やに関わってるならなおさらだ。That sounds ominous. Yo, chill out. Don't scare civilians like that. ただまお前らには借りもある。ここは譲ってやろう。uh, we see the key from Go Goto. Is this a key for the apartment? No. This is Thank you. Well, <laughs> That was scary. And talking about people surviving hell really didn't help much. Alright, let's see what the key works. Excuse us. Oh, I'm talking about Bleak. Considering how he dresses. I thought his place would be more decorated. Yeah, right, let's see what we can find. This photo. Yeah, she's pretty. Girlfriend, maybe? But it seems kind of old. They barely look older than us in this picture. You know something? No, it's nothing. Right, I'll take this picture. Take a picture of it with my iPhone. It might hold some clues. The bedding is nearly folded, almost mil al uh, almost about military precision. It's so tidy. It's like a display at a department store. When everything looks so perfect, it almost seems inhuman. There's nothing strange under the bed. Let's check elsewhere. Yeah, it looks like there's something stuck between the pages of the book. Really, let me see. Looks like a map of Moramiya. A shopping street, a ride show, a memorial park have all been circled. 
And those match up with the spots of the elements that went out of control. That can't be a coincidence. Hey, there's something under the on the other side. What is it? Wait. Set distance for point Q. No changes for awakening phase. What does it mean? I don't know. It seems like they're a code for something. It seems to be it. Y'all didn't check his computer. It's a big apartment, but sure doesn't own much. This barely feels lived in. It seems to eat here, at least. Anyways, I was wondering about that code on the back of the map. Let's see what the other members think. See, I was just not gonna check his computer. Okay. Detective's my ass. There's something about this note on the map that I can't let go of. The distance from point Q remains the same. No change during the waking phase. It's obvious they have some kind of objective or goal. This point Q must have been, uh, must have been the place, uh, where whatever they had planned is going to happen. At the very least, it'll give us a place to start looking. <sighs> Maybe. But, and about this awakening phase thing. We're not sure if it's the breed of Twilight actually exists, though. At the very least, it sounds like something Cthulhu-like slumbering in the deep. It's kind of creepy. It's like there is some grand plan unfolding right under our noses that we ha uh, that we know nothing about. So what do we do now? One Q seems to be uh, seems like the thing we should be focusing on. Uh, but I have my doubts that they were stupid enough to write down the exact location. I think we all have hints that we need to figure out. That's your professional opinion, I take it? Point Q, can we really figure out what... Tucky Saka, something come to you? Yeah, maybe. I think this check the check mark on the map and the distance from point Q remains the same might be the keys. It's all referring to the incidences that had to do with different attributes, right? It says the distance from point Q remains the same. Meaning, once we find out what is always the same from point Q, the rest should fall into place. Yeah, hey, you might be right. I see, that's a rather astute observation. There's only three real locations marked here. But if we measure out the points that uh, equal, equal equidistant from these places, we'll be able to narrow it down, thanks. Yeah, the location that's most likely to be is don't you dare me- oh, you dick, you're making me choose. Um, I mean, looking at how this looks, we got boom, boom. I mean, it could be like just a square though. I mean, I feel like the next one could be Arco's Tower. Oh, same distance from each point. Yeah, it's this then. What the fuck? Okay. Um. 
Here? Here. This place is the center of all three locations. Station Square. Okay, I thought it was going to be like a square kind of thing, not just that. But if we assume that the breed of dusk is lurking somewhere in the area, and the surrounding areas were affected by elemental rampage, then that'd be... It'd make a perfect sense. There's no some mistaking there then, huh? Yep, yep. I think we hit the jackpot. Uh, but where in the station could we find the cause? The station's a big place and there's a lot of people around. Maybe it's underground? Underground? There were plans to build the subway in Mormia City. But the Time Memorial project kicked off not so not long after. So the subway kinda of fell to the wayside. But I heard that there were still a few tunnels left over from construction under the station square. Is it so? I remember hearing rumors about that when I was a kid. Two attributes we haven't seen uh, haven't seen yet is steel and shadow. And it's obvious connection between steel and earth. Uh, so that might be a good place as any to begin investigating any elemental rampages. Then it's settled. Let's all uh, let's all head towards Station Square. Yeah, looks like we hit pay dirt. That's right, you were trying to track down the woman in the picture. Good job, you. Never call me that again. Anyways, let's see what I found. Name, Futaba I I uh, Ichos Nuse. Uh, I Wait, okay, Futaba Ichose died March 15, 2005. Oh! Oh, she's been dead for a while. Um, if this game is like in 2015, she's been dead for 10 years. Ah, oh, fuck. She's, she must have died in that earthquake. That date. It's from that day 10 years ago. I fucking said, just said that. You're right. Long distance relationship, so that's what it was. Seriously, this theme is lit! Once we're ready, let's head out to Mormia Station. I think Mr. Saiki is planning on doing the same, but if he doesn't know we're what's waiting for us. Yeah, we better stay on our toes. Um, all of the, all of the XRC members have gathered together. All the areas except for Mormia Academy have been unlocked. I guess it's basically telling me, hey, beef up your stuff because you're getting close to the point of no return. I'm trying to think if there's anything I need to do. Oh, 
Mm. Windstorm. Uh, let me actually see if I can get him anything decent. Alright, let's head to Kokonoe Shrine real quick. I want to actually take the moment to actually talk to this dude. Alright, let me see how good those things are anyways. I mean, stats don't really matter in this game, let's be real here. But I've been bullshitting my way through this entire game. Brick Alley. I'll come back for this stuff. Can't think of anything else I would need from Brick Alley. I know it seems like I'm wasting time, but I'm actually just trying to cover all my tracks, essentially. I find it funny I'm doing this for Asuka, knowing full well I ain't gonna use her. three of these. I think that... Let's give it to... 
Her. Not her. You. And you. Once again, it seems like I'm petty, I know, but I don't like Asuka and I'm not gonna waste my time on her. Point Q. I think Mr. Goro is here, will be here too. Should we be head there now? Do it. We made it. Nothing out of the ordinary, at least. I don't see anything strange. I don't, miss, I don't see Mrs. Saiki anywhere. Surprise, bitch! What was that? Damn it. It's the same thing that happened at the park. It was faint, but there's no mistaking it. That was definitely a hollow quake. Look! Yeah, it's, it's shiny like a gate. Nobody seems to have noticed it. Damn it. Uh, let's look for an entrance underground. I don't know, does she not notice it? Bitch! Okay. Uh, way underground. This is... It appears that the power is bleeding from underground and is seeping into this thing. That's a lot of energy. Seriously powerful reading. This is definitely the place. Why hasn't she teached us that, by the way? I, I, I just want to bring this up. She's never taught us how to do that. The path leads further underground. We better make sure we're adequately prepared before we move up forward. Like, she has not bothered to teach us how to do all the little phone trick shit that she's been doing. And I don't want to hear, Oh, but Robin, it's to give her plot relevance. That's literally the only reason she's still around. Oh, <laughs> That's a lot of energy. Whoa. This is an this an ominous presence. Seems like it's coming from behind that door. That's a gate. That looks like a grim greed gate. Or an elder is it elder or grim? Yeah, grim greed. Is that is that a gate? Yes, yeah, seems like it. If 
feels the pure evil has given form. I can feel the present uh, presence of an ominous aura. There's no mistaking it. One of the kids at the twilight is here. So this is the moment of truth. Everyone, it's time to prepare for worse and then hand inside. I want to have this dungeon to look at. Oh! Okay, it actually looks very unique for a change. That was one of my main issues with this game. A lot of the dungeons look the damn same, except with a slightly different color palette. そして鋼の匂いかまさかここまでの迷宮が現世に権限するなんてええ想像以上です一体どれほどのものが待ち受けているのか今までと何も変わらねえだろう あの先生の思惑がどんなものかは知らねえが第二の最悪なんてもんは俺たちが叩き潰してやるだけだ行くぞみんなああ。Let's do it. Some shit. All right, let's do this. I mean, I'm gonna be real here. This game is cool, but it really likes to reuse dungeon designs for every single dungeon. And since they're all labyrinths, they don't really have to do much to make them interesting. They just gotta reuse the same shit, and they're good. Sad to say that, but yeah, it's kind of true. They reuse assets like a motherfucker. But yeah, they reuse dungeon designs from like I want to say most of the side events are the or sub stories are basically the same dungeon but re reskin. God damn it! Okay, I gotta switch hers out now because now she's got win. I'm trying not to bring two win characters at once. It's like, they reuse so many dungeon designs in this game, it's kind of annoying. Like, they remade the game, and as much as I love Falcom, they remade this game, or remastered this game, or whatever. Yeah, but what I was saying is, they reused a lot of assets, and I understand they did that because this game used to be a PSP title or PS Vita title. But I feel like they could have done something to make the dungeons a bit more unique instead of literally palette swaps of each other. I mean, the music changes a little bit, and that's something. But um, bitch. Yeah, no, I'm not dealing with that shit today. 
But, um... Bear in mind, I like this game. Don't get me wrong. It has some issues, definitely. Um, one of which is Asuka. Good God, I cannot care about her character. And before somebody in the comments says, like, But Ramen, she has great character development when on the episode Asuka's Broken Pride. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn if she had, like, character development, tried, quote-unquote, character development there. She was still a bitch throughout most of the game until, like, very late. And when she got her head out of her ass. I really should have just brought fire at this point. Oh my god! Yeah, now those hands can go fuck themselves. I do not want to know what that blood will do to me. Side note, there are quite a few localization errors, or just text errors for some reason in this game. Like, you just saw how, like... Uh, it's gonna be one of those fucking dungeons. What's that? Another dimension quake. Or hollow quake, goddammit. Is it me? Is it are those getting stronger? Seems we're closing in on a source. Yes, it feels like there's something uh, really strong up ahead. Looks like we're almost out of time. <laughs> we better get we better get ready. Yeet. All right, <laughs> this. This whole dungeon is pointless. Like, I mean, this dungeon would have been a lot cooler if it wasn't Labyrinth style, like freaking Conception 2. This game, uh, like, this whole game would have been a lot better if the dungeons weren't kinda ass. Uh. Okay, I just go up here.
Yeah, no. Legit, you can skip through most of these monsters. You know it's funny that you're being affected by this while you're flying. I don't, I don't get it. I do not get it. How are you getting damaged by that if you're flying? Y'all ain't shit. Also, the dungeons really aren't even that long either. Which, I would say is a good thing, because god damn it, these dungeons are annoying. And we're going to save this for next time, so I'll see y'all later.